What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, I want to talk about how do I get started? How do you get started on your health and fitness journey? No matter where you are, you can be an elite athlete, a Hollywood celebrity, or you can literally be in the absolute worst shape of your life, desperate, not knowing what to do. This video is going to very simply break down how to get started. And I want to share my personal coaching with you. Now, briefly, I'm the four-time World MMA Trainer of the Year. I'm one of the most sought-after coaches in all of professional sports. As says Sports Illustrated, ESPN has called me a lifestyle changer. I am the creator of the only diet and exercise program ever endorsed by the Ultimate Fighting Championship, the UFC. I am the founder of the Dolce Diet. I'm a number one best-selling author, and I'm someone who was exactly where you are. I used to weigh 282 pounds at over 30% body fat, deceiving myself as being a competitive power lifter, which was really just a strong fat guy. Now, I had been in amazing shape as a competitive amateur wrestler uh, during my school days, and then I just focused on the barbell and eating a lot of food, and I was a performance athlete and coach, and I realized the woes of my ways in my mid-20s, and from that point forward, I decided to make a transformative change in my life first, and then in your life and the lives of all of my clients, so how do you get started? And the simplest thing to do is always the best thing to do. Do not worry about hitting grand slams and throwing Hail Mary touchdowns. Don't try and lose all the weight overnight. Don't try and start the most rigorous training program immediately. Don't get out there and start chasing after David Goggins on day one. The best thing for you to do right now is start slowly but stay consistent. So you, you have to be patient. And that's, nobody wants to hear about patience, but let me explain. Patience yields the fastest results. If I know I have to lose one pound before I lose 10 pounds, well, I can really start to cherish the act of losing one pound. But in order to lose one pound, I first have to lose half a pound or a quarter pound. And in order for me to lose a quarter pound, well, what do I need to do? This is what I mean by patience. If you want to lose 10, 20, 50 pounds or more, or even if you're trying to gain weight, it's the exact same process. Patience is key. You must focus on the simplest things you can do right now, knowing you will never have a perfect day. I've been doing this for 39 years, almost 40 years. I was eight years old when I started really focusing on health and fitness and working out and doing the whole thing. I'm 47 as I sit here today speaking with you. So I've been doing this for almost 40 years and I've never had a perfect day. I've never been quote perfect. My only goal, and I realized this about 20 or so years ago, right, right when I had that epiphany of health over barbell weight or, or just crossing the finish line first, because that can be dangerous. What I realized was I need to focus on the things that I can control and not worry about anything else, not worry about anyone else, not, not care what social media says, not care what the people in the gym are doing, not care even what my family and friends are telling me to do because they're just trying to figure out on their own. And usually they're, they're piecing together a lot of bad information. Your best first step is to be patient, to take your time, but you must be consistent. You must be consistent. This is a matter of small daily choices, of action steps, of every single day. You're going to do slightly more today, just ever so slightly more today than yesterday. And the rule of compounding interest will guarantee your results and your progress and your consistent improvement. Because remember, if you're trying to lose 50 pounds, well, you have to lose a quarter pound first because a quarter pound turns into a half pound to a full pound to three pounds to 10 pounds to 20 pounds and so on and so forth. But it is the habits that 
first allow you to lose that quarter pound, that will be the same habits consistently applied over time that will ensure you lose the 50. Now, here's some easy takeaways. The first thing you need to do is drink more water. I'm going to make this so simple for you. We can get more complex. And if you want something more complex, if you want something more specific, more structured, like a, a GPS, a treasure map to your future body, well, I have a link below this video that you can click on or wait till the end of this video and I'll share more about that. That's, that's fine. But you don't need that right now, honestly. You don't need that. You just need to listen to what I'm telling you. Drink more water. In fact, drink mostly water. Drink almost entirely water. In the beginning, why is that? Because most people get the majority of their calories not through their food. They get it through what they drink. Isn't that crazy? Most people will get the majority of their daily calories from what they drink. These, these flavored, colored, preserved and processed beverages that disguise themselves as energy drinks and as coffees and as healthy smoothies and cold pressed juices. If you ever look at the calorie content, the fat content, the carbohydrate content, the sugar content, you would be shocked to see how many calories that beverage contains when you compare it to a delicious healthy meal. So let's, let's just for the first 30 days, let's just get that off the table. Now you can go back and I have some amazing delicious really tasty beverages that we're going to put back into the plant for you. But let's drink mostly water, fresh brewed teas like green tea and black tea and chamomile tea and black coffee. Black coffee is a delicacy in most countries. So you're here in America, you're used to these overly sugared and, and, and creamed coffees. Most of where you go, ladies also around the world, Black coffee is the way to go. Black coffee with a little bit of cinnamon mixed in is pretty delicious. Maybe you want to put just a little bit of, of a raw local honey into that. That's awesome. So now we're drinking mostly water. The next thing I want you to do is I just want you to start walking more. Just start walking more. And in fact, I tell you, I plead with you, I beg you, I tell all my pro athletes and all my Hollywood celebrities, I look at their program, I look at their food, I look at everything, and I say, you know what you're not doing enough of? They're like, well, I'm not working hard enough. I'm not, not you know, dieting hard enough. Why isn't, not, why isn't my, my body fat? Why isn't my, my body changing? I say, you're not walking enough. They're like, walking? Walking's so easy. Well, I should be doing hard stuff. I said, no, you shouldn't. You should be walking. Because walking, now think about this, as a human, we are bipedal organisms. We are perfectly designed to walk very far distances at relatively slow paces. Our energy systems are uniquely created for this exact activity. But instead of embracing our natural design, we try and hack it with all sorts of crazy gadgets and workouts and these things that really just beat us down. And it makes it hard for our body to recover and repair itself. Therefore, you wind up holding on to your fat and breaking down muscle tissue. But if you're walk, you're utilizing an energy mechanism called oxidative phosphorylation. This is simply the act of releasing stored fat as the primary energy resource instead of stored sugar, which is glycogen, right? So do you want to use the sugar from the food you've eaten, which, hey, there's a time and place for that. Or would you rather use the stored fat as the energy source for this activity. Now, walking at lower intensities, which is basically, you know, zone one cardio with your heart speeding around 100, 110 beats per minute, you're burning almost primarily stored fat at that point. Well, we want to take advantage of that. And we want to do that first thing in the morning, ideally while fasted. That is the ideal time. Now, it doesn't have to be. It's just ideal. Now, remind yourself, that almost everything else you do during the day after your first bite of food will be in a fed state. So let's take advantage of the fasted cardio first thing in the morning, fasted list as we call it, for 30 minutes. 45 minutes is the holy grail. 60 minutes, now you are an elite. You will see your body rapidly change. The next thing I want you to focus on is simply exercising intensely relative to your ability for 30 to 45 minutes, three to five days per week. If you're new to this, 
30 minutes, three days a week is amazing. You start to scale up over time. Maybe you go 45 minutes, three days a week. And then maybe, you know, you do 30 minutes, four days or five days a week. And eventually 45 minutes, five days a week. Again, you're at the elite level. That's about what I do. I get my 45 to 60 minutes of fasted list first thing in the morning. And I train about 45 to 60 minutes, three to five days per week on average. That's all. That's it. That's all you need. Now, the last piece is tempered with an amazing meal plan. Eating delicious, healthy, single ingredient, robust, whole food options. Having delicious meals spread evenly throughout the day. And I say we use the four by four system. Four meals about four hours apart, four times per day. That is a great starting point for all humans. I don't care about the whole fasting dogma and all the other stuff. About four meals, about four hours apart, about four times per day evenly spread, consistently followed with everything I just said, you're going to be in great shape. Do you doubt that what I just said sounds absolutely amazing? Can you dispute anything I just said? I mean, now think, look, look at the wall behind me. I mean, look at me. I'm telling you, this is what works. This is your best step forward. So how do I start? Just simply start by employing what I just said. Now, if you need more information, more structure, more direction, more coaching, we can certainly provide that for you. We have that. We have an amazing portfolio of exercise and nutrition programs. We have our three weeks to shred it program, our living lean program, our shred dad program, our squats and state program. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can work directly with myself and my team. We have tons and tons of stuff. So I have a couple links below this video for you. You can take advantage of those or just go to our blog page and learn more. We have free resources, free downloads, free recipes, free workouts, all for you. And make sure you're a part of our mailing list. We call it the Trainers Network. We have almost 40 thousand amazing humans just like you who are inside of our trainers network where I'm your trainer and I'm giving you free tips, free tricks, free recipes, free workouts, free lifestyle hacks, free motivational tips every week delivered to your inbox. Definitely make sure you subscribe to that. Now, guys, if you need anything, I'm here. You can check us out on Instagram where I do live Q&As almost all the time. Twitter is meh. I got to try and get back on Twitter. It's just too political. Twitter's X, I should say. I don't know. I'm still kind of up in the air. But I'm on Instagram all the time and right here on the YouTube channel. But mostly, I'm in your inbox through our emails. Definitely take advantage of that. I'm going to stop this video here for now. Thank you for being here. Give these tips a try. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, consider giving this video a thumbs up if you appreciate this content. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. If you've been here before, give me a thumbs up. Leave a good old FU Dolce below. What does the FU mean? This is old school. FU was simply a way for our community to help boost the channel inside the YouTube algorithm. FU Dolce means effing unbelievable content Dolce. So you can just simply put an FU or an FU Dolce down there just to help grow the channel. Once again, I appreciate you being there, being here. And until next time, boom.